Hi everybody, I'm Sarah and welcome to your PT kettlebell session with me. We're going to be working total body today. So this is PT session one, kettlebells, total body. We're going to be running through some of the exercises that you've done on your previous PT sessions with me. So we're going to be doing deadlifts, kettlebell swings, goblet squats, press, bent over row, chest press and some core at the very end and of course as, al as always we have your finisher. So let's get mobilised and let's get our body ready for your session. So we're going to start off by just taking the shoulders back and down, chest lifted and we're going to take the hands back behind the head into prisoner deadlift so tipping forward from the hips with me keeping your chest lifted shoulders back and let's just warm up through the backs of the legs because when we're doing those deadlifts and your kettlebell swings remember we're really using the backs of the legs and the glutes okay let's do five more of these five four three two and one good and then into our squats so feet hip distance arms across the chest and coming down and driving all the way up so sitting down into the heels just warming up through those quads and the glutes good let's do four more four three two and one take the hands back again and just rotate side to side let's warm up through the lower back through the waist get everything mobilized good four more four three two and one good and now just tip forward again from the hips and let's warm up through the through the upper back so take the arms out to the side squeeze and come back down elbows soft and you're in that deadlift position and draw up and squeeze the shoulder blades together at the top now engage through the glutes through the bum cheeks and let's do five more of these five four three two and one and then stand good tip forwards from the hips and let's walk out into your moving plank walk out drop down onto the knees and do a box press up back up onto the toes walk back stand tall and do that again we're doing it two more times come down onto the knees hands wider than shoulders box press up and then up and walk back let's do that one more come down hands wider than shoulders and then come down and back up onto your toes walk back and roll all the way up feeling a bit warmer I hope so so we're just going to remind ourselves of that kettlebell swing so remember, I, I did run through the technique in a previous PT session, but let me remind you. So you need to remember the deadlift, okay? So don't squat and swing, remember. You must deadlift and swing. So we're going to be doing a double-handed swing in our total body session. So we tip forwards and we come up like this. Let's just practice without the kettlebell. Four, five six as you tip forward can you feel the hamstrings fire up good and remember the power of this swing is coming from the backs of the legs the glutes the core the lower back do three more three two and one lovely then take the arms all the way around okay team let's get ready for your PT session all right so our first exercise we're going to be doing two exercises back to back without any rest okay and again we're looking for endurance and some strength as well find have a kettlebell weight that is challenging but 
is doable, okay? Something that you, you can feel, especially on the swing. If it's too light, then sometimes the technique isn't quite what it should be, okay? So you kind of need that weight to dictate good technique, okay? So find a good middle ground. I'm, I'm going to be using, for my deadlift, I'm going to use an eight kilo, okay? So shoulders back and down. We're going for 15 deadlifts. Draw up through the core, engage, and let's go. Coming down and driving up. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Two, three, four, And up, nine, good, nice, slight bend through the knees, ten, five more, and you're keeping those shoulders drawn back, five, four, three, two, and one, good, now straight into your kettlebell swings, okay, so let's go, we've got twenty, one, and lift, two, three, keeping the kettlebell above the knees and it comes up to shoulder height, nine, try and stay with my pace, we're halfway, we've got ten, nine, eight, see that hinge from the hips, six, five, four, three, two and one, well done, bend the knees, put the kettlebell down. Okay, so whilst you recover, let me just recap just through some of that technique for your swing. Okay, so you get your breath back and I will just remind you of a few things. So we are not squatting and swinging. Can you see that that's a squat? Now, can you see that this is a deadlift and swing? I want you to do the deadlift, okay? Again, remember if you squat and swing, sometimes it can pull on the lower back because you're taking the kettlebell away from the midline of the body. So keep that kettlebell close here and up and under. Remember it comes up to shoulder height and remember the hinge from the hips and the explosive up and then let it come back down. So the tempo of pace is faster on the way up and they're a bit slower on the way down. Round two, back to deadlifts. Haven't quite got my breath back, but that's okay. Shoulders back, chest lifted, round two, let's go. Into that deadlift and back up. So we repeat those two exercises. And can you see the pace we're coming down for one, two, up, and squeeze the glutes. Down, down, up, and up. But keep the move fluid. All one move, okay? And we're doing 15 again. Seven, don't worry, I'm counting. And lower, and lift. And you're exhaling on the way up. Yes, five more. Down, five, four, three, two, one more, and there's your 15 deadlifts, straight into swings, let's go, 20 reps, okay, one, four, keep the knees forward, Six, seven, thrust your hips forward at the top, <sighs> halfway, exhale, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! And stop. That's guaranteed to raise your heart rate a little bit, isn't it? Okay, we've got one more round. Set three. 15 deadlifts, 20 swings. Okay, next thing to look out for on your kettlebell swing is don't let the kettlebell dangle below the knees and almost hit yourself on the bum with it. So as it goes through the legs, it's up high, okay? So try and think about that on this next time round. Okay, back to deadlifts. 
picking up your kettlebell, bending the knees safely, drawing the shoulders back. Now keep the shoulders back on the deadlift. Let's go. Round three, not much rest, I know. Let's go. Down and drive up, squeeze. Two, three, four, five, and six. Stay with my pace. Seven, focus on the backs of the legs, on both legs. Eight, and then squeeze the glutes at the top. Good, we're doing good. We've got five more, okay? I'm with you for five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely, straight into the swings. Let's go, 20 reps. Remember, keep it above the knees. Are you with me on my pace? Eight, just up to shoulder height. Look at the kettlebell, it should be nice and still at the top. Last ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo, well done. And rest. Okay, guys, have a quick drink. Moving on to our next two exercises. So if you remember from kettlebell PT session one, we did goblet squats. And from PT session one kettlebells from upper body, we did the rack and press, didn't we? So we're gonna put those two exercises back to back. So remembering that if you have a choice of kettlebells to use, then great. Remembering you can probably be a bit heavier on your goblet squats. Okay, I know there's some shoulder stabilization and core stabilization holding the kettlebell upside down, but your legs will be stronger than just pressing for shoulders. So you might want to be slightly lighter on the rack and press, and you might want to be a bit heavier on the squats. Remember, this is our first PT session, total body, so there's always time to progress, okay? So find a weight that suits you, but also challenges you, okay? So goblet squats, we're going to hold the kettlebell upside down like this. And remember, we, we're, we're not resting it on, on our bodies. Elbows are in, feet are just wider than hips, and they're facing forwards. So we're coming down, engage, lift through the rib cage, engage the core, draw the belly button down into the spine, and come down with me for, for 15 again two and lift, three and lift, four and drive up, five and you can see that nice pause, that time under tension. Good, now don't let that kettlebell fall forward, keep it lifted. Good, we've got five more, okay, five and drive up four, and drive up, three, pushing up through the heels, two more, two, can you feel your shoulders working as well, your biceps as well, and one, and rest. Good, so if you've got a lighter kettlebell, then use it, if not, good luck. <laughs> so you're going to rack the kettlebell, did you see the way I picked that up then? Hand on the inside, lift, round, and hold. Have a look at your wrists for me. Make sure it's straight. Knuckles are up to the ceiling. Elbow in, knee soft, nice strong base, and we're going to drive up with one arm first, like this. Up, round, and out, one, and then back in. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, 15 on each arm. Six, so if you have got a heavier kettlebell, seven, you might end up eight, using the legs a little bit like that, nine, and that's fine. But if you can just isolate the shoulder for now, good, five more, five, arm nice and straight at the top, exhale, four, out and round, three, 
two, <laughs> I'm breathing still, one more, one, lovely, and then take it back down, change arms, bend the knees, lift, hold, look at the wrists, straight, knuckles up, let's go, one, and back down, nice and controlled, on the way up, and on the way down, three, four, good, core strong, five, knees soft, six, keep it going, seven, knees soft, and up, eight, nine, ten, now if it's getting too much, then bend the knees and press for five, four, three, two, one more, and one, well done, and then take it back down, and just give the shoulders a roll, well done, great stuff, okay, just while your upper body's resting, we're going to go back to those goblet squats, okay, so you might want to go back to that heavier weight, if you're finding, okay, if you're finding that having the kettlebell underneath your chin is pulling on your lower back, okay, that will mean that you're allowing the kettlebell to fall forward or the kettlebell is falling forward because your back's getting tired. Now what I would do there is if you've got a lighter weight, then use the lighter weight or hold the kettlebell like this for now, okay, like that. So it won't compromise your lower back. And then once you get a little bit stronger through the shoulders, through the core, then that will be easier, okay? So, coming back under into your goblet squat. I'm going to show you from the side that it's not resting on me, okay? I'm not leaning the kettlebell on me. And we're coming down, let's go. Drive down, pause, and push up, one. And my chest is lifted, kettlebell stays there, two. Three. Inhale and exhale. Seven, squeeze the glutes at the top. There we go. Eight. Nine. Go nice and controlled. Ten. We've got five more. Then for the last time, we go back to that press. Okay? Three more squats. We're just doing two times round on this. Three. Two, made you do an extra one, haven't I? And one, and rest, well done. Ooh, okay, going back. Let's keep working to that rack and press. Pick up the kettlebell, check the wrist, check the knuckles, elbow in. Let's go, knee soft, core, press. One, two, with my pace, okay, remember what I said about the knees as well, if you need to, use the knees, so a little push press if you need it, I've got five more, five, four, three, really try and keep that body stable and still, two, try not to be and one, and come down, well done, okay, other side, we're moving on after this, okay, all right, knees soft, elbow in, wrist, knuckles check, let's go, lift, one, two, three, four, five, how are those shoulders feeling? Doing good. And up. Seven. <sighs> Guys, five more. Come on, those shoulders are working now. Five. Up. Four. Three. 
two, arm straight, up, well done, and then pop it back down, well done. Okay, so just two rounds of those, your goblet squat and your rack and press, done. Great work, okay, so do you remember when we did the bent over row in PT session one, upper body with kettlebells? Okay, so if you have two kettlebells, you know that you'll be going both at the same time. If you have one kettlebell, then you are single arm. And then once you've done one side, pause at the top, back down and go for the other side, okay? We'll have a little bit of a longer rest so you can catch up, okay? Right, choosing your kettlebells. If you've got two, then pick them up. So we're going to be working the top of the back, all right? So chest lifted. Now you're familiar with that deadlift position. So come down into that deadlift position, overhand grip with the kettlebells and drive out to the side, squeeze, and then back down. Let's go. Two, three, draw up through the core and tighten the glutes. Look ahead, six, don't let your head drop. We've got five more. So if you're doing single arm, 15 on each arm. Four, three, two, and one. Great stuff. Well done. Okay, pop your kettlebells down. You still need both of them. We're coming down onto the mat. We've worked your back. We're going to work your chest. So you'll remember we've done this before. So rack the kettlebells. If you're still on that single arm row, then you continue with that single arm row and you'll catch up with us on this chest press, okay? So driving the arms up, okay? And we're going to come down and press up. One, two, let the elbows tap the floor. Pause and push. Three, four, Five. And again, if you've just got one kettlebell, just go with one side and then do the other side, okay? We've got five more, okay? And push for five, four, three, two, and one, well done. Then just bring the arms down and pop the kettlebells down and just take a rest. I just allow, if you're on your single arms, just to catch up, okay? We're going to do that just one more time round because we do have quite a big finisher at the end, okay? Which might just take a little bit of time, okay? So, taking your time, coming up to standing. We're going to go back to that row. Let's get it done. So working through the back, bending the knees, picking the kettlebells up, shoulders back, and that chest is lifted now. What I want you to think about this time is when your arms are in this position, don't allow the back to do this and don't allow the arms to go really long. Keep the retraction through the shoulders all the time, okay? Right, let's go. So let's row. 15 again. If you're, just do, if you're doing single arm, you can do alternating arm. You can change your kettlebell if you wish, like this. Okay. And lift and squeeze. If your lower back starts to ache, then stand and reset whenever you're ready. Okay, we should have five more to go. So lift and squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then stand. Well done. Put the kettlebells back down. 
If you're still on your single arm, keep going. Nice and controlled. Remember that squeeze and pause at the top. Last set of chest press. Now, remember the bridge, lift. Let's add the bridge in this time. So overhand grip, look at the wrists, the knuckles. Wrists are straight, knuckles up to the ceiling. And then let's bring the arms down, out, and then back up over the chest, one. And lift the hips and squeeze the glutes together as well. Two, inhale, exhale, press. Good. We've got five more, okay? And drive up five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Great stuff. And just recover and rest. Great. So, to end our PT session, or total body, we are going to do a nice finisher. We've got 10 deadlifts. We've got 10 swings. We've got 10 squats. We've got 10 presses. We've got 10 bent over rows. And we've got 10 single arm sit-ups. Now, do you remember in the core section when we did, I had a tiny weight for this one. Do you remember in the core session when we did, um, so we're learning to do a Turkish get-up, aren't we? And your first phase is here, is this. So we'll be doing a set of 10 on each arm with those as well. Okay, so come on up to standing. Let's get this finished. 10 deadlifts to start with. Choose your weight if you've got an option. If you can go a little bit heavier on your deadlifts, then do that, okay? And on your swings. Three two, one, let's go. 10 deadlifts, 10, and drive up, squeeze the glutes. Nine, stay with my pace. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, straight into 10 swings, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and then upside down with the kettlebell into squats, let's go. For 10, nine, all the way down, sink into the heels, eight, Underhand grip with the kettlebell. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now keep the kettlebell here and press directly up for 10. Under the chin, nine, let it come under the chin. Eight, knee soft, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. If you've got those two kettlebells, grab them. If you haven't, just go with alternating row, okay? Tip forward from the hips, and let's row for 10, nine, eight, seven. Back long, remember? Six, head up, knee soft, five, squeeze the top of the back, four, three, two, and one. Stand. If you're on that single arm, do your ten on the other arm. Don't rush it. And then you probably need a lighter weight for the core to finish if you've got one. If you haven't got a kettlebell, just use a, a lighter dumbbell, it's fine. 
Okay, rack the kettlebell, lie down. The kettlebell is in, say, the left hand, the left knee is bent, the right leg is straight, okay? Hand behind the head, arm up straight, arm back, not forwards, arm back, and we lift up, hold, and now lift up from there. One, Woo -hoo. I can feel that, and lift. Two, exhale. If the weight's too much, just take the arm up without a weight, okay? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more, then we change arms. Nine. And ten. Well done. Bring it down. Let's change arms. Arm up and change legs, remember. Hand behind the head. Try not to allow the arm to lean forward. Lead forward. Keep it back, which is harder, okay? Let's go. Lift a little bit. And let's go for your ten. Ten. Chin away from the chest. Exhale. And lower. And lift. Four, five, six, keep it going, let's go, last four, up four, you're doing good, and lift, three, and lower, two, last rep, we've got this, up, oh. and back down, and lower the arm down, well done, all right, PT session, one, kettlebells, total body, done. Lengthen the legs, take the arms over the head. And take a nice big stretch, lift through the rib cage. Ah. Bring the knees into the chest. Bring the knees in, hold them there. Move side to side, release through the lower back. Well done. Good. Drop the, knee, drop the feet down and then the knees down to one side. Stretch out through the lower back and through the waist. Turn your head to face the opposite way. Have the palms face up to the ceiling. Relax through the chest and the shoulders. And now change sides. Lovely. Bring the knees back to centre. Let's take a stretch through the glutes. So whilst we're lying down, pop the foot on the knee. Can you put your hands through, support the stretch, bring it in. Let that knee fall out to the side. Great. Okay, let's change legs. Let me know how, after the session, leave me a comment and let me know how you got on with the PT session a little finisher at the end. Great, and release that stretch. Okay, let's come on up to standing. And I want you just to take a foot to your bum, stretch out the front of the leg. Great, and change legs. Hold. And release it. Upper body. Tuck the chin into the chest. Elbows soft. Stretch out the top of the back. And then lift the arms up. And then fall forward. Stretch out through the backs of the legs. Those backs of the legs really work with the deadlifts and the swings. So let's have them stretched out just there. And then bend the knees. Roll all the way up. Take the hands onto the small of the back, squeeze the elbows together, lift it through the chest, and release, give the shoulders a roll. Well done, I hope you enjoyed your PT session with me. Great work guys, and I will see you very soon.